Hey basketball coaches and players, today I am going to talk to you about what is a full court press in basketball. Now this is basically a defense where we would set up either a full court man to man defense or a full court zone defense. There's two different options here, but basically you're playing defense the full length of the court and not just in your set half court. I understand that there are some leagues that do not allow the full court press. There's also some leagues that do not allow a full court press uh, after you've been winning by more than 15, 20, 30, 40 points, whatever it may be. And yeah, when it gets up to 40 points, don't full court press at all. But this is basically an explanation on what is a full court press and of course how to use it and a couple of just different ideas on how to run one. Okay, so this is one of the most popular full court presses that there is. And this is what's called a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Now, really quickly, if you're a really beginner at the zone defenses, the number goes by the front. So this would be where players are inbounding the ball. This is the end that you're defending. This is the end that you would be scoring against. And this would be a 1-2-1-1. One, now from there, it's also called a diamond press. So if you ever hear either one of those terms, that's what this is. So basically the idea behind a full court press is to trap the opposing players somewhere along the sideline right there. Now some coaches are okay and happy and excited to trap here and here. But personally, I like to have my teams trap right here. And there's a reason for this. So let's say we got play the other team gets player for the ball and he's there and we get a trap. A trap is when you've got two players or more, but generally two who are stopping the forward and sideways progression of a player along the sideline. Now the benefit of being able to trap just past half court is the fact that this player cannot go back over the half court line, it would be called an over and back, obviously cannot run out of bounds, and can't go anywhere because he's got uh, the other side covered by player one and his forward progression covered by player two. This is the optimum golden standard of being able to get trapped. And there's different types of full court presses and full court traps. So there's the 1-2-1-1 one, 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 where essentially you would have these two players, in most cases, double team the inbound ball. And then you would have player 3 move over to cover any of these passes here, possibly have player 4 move over here. There's a couple of different ways of running it, but I'm not getting into that right now. Let's say we run this standard and we have player 4 get that ball. Let's say he does the, the standard of what most teams will do when they get pressed, which is to pass the ball back to the inbounding player. From there, we would have player 1 forcing on this side, player 5 to go towards that sideline. Player 3 would pick him up, player 2 would be here to pick off any passes back around to player 4. Now the idea here is to then get these players to trap him somewhere along this sideline. Now another option for a full court press is a 2-2-1. Two, two, Again, 2 is up front, 2 in the middle, and 1 in the back. I've heard coaches call this a box press, but really it's, it's a 2-2-1. Two, two, and again, same thing, but instead of it being a double team up front, it's going to be a single coverage, and that player is going to try and force the ball handler towards the sideline, and that's when player 3 is going to jump on and trap along the sideline. Now the whole idea on a full court press is there's actually a kind of a few reasons why you would run one. So if you were to run one at the beginning of the game, generally the first two or three minutes, this is telling the other team that you're not here to play, you're here to win, and that really does get into teams' minds. From there, you could intercept passes you could basically make the other team turn over the ball whether it be a bad pass step out of bounds um, just literally turn over the ball and get it stolen that could get you a couple of quick points fast you could run a diamond press at the beginning of the game the first three or four possessions the other team has and you could run up the score six nothing eight nothing quickly and then you can get into a half court trap or you can just sit back into a 2-3 zone or a man-to-man -man defense 
or into my unbeatable basketball defense that you can grab down in the description below that basically gives a double team from the free throw line and below without leaving any players open. So definitely go check out that book if you're looking to have a great defensive team. But from there, that is what a full court press is used for at the beginning of the game. You can do this at the beginning of every quarter as well, and that really does set a precedence in that quarter for, hey, we're not here to play, we're here to win, we're going to make you lose by a lot. And whether or not you're playing in a friendly league or a youth league, if you're a player, if you're a coach, you want to win, and this is how you can win. From there... You would also be able to do this or successfully hopefully do this at the end of the game when there's only maybe 30 seconds left. You're down by one. You need that ball and you need to get that ball back so you can score and maybe run up the score to enough so that you can have a comeback or a win. That's when you would run a full court press successfully as well. Now, if you're up by 40 points, don't run a full court press. At that point, you're just looking like a Sorry for swearing, but you're looking like an ass at that point. So, there's times to run it, there's times to not run it, but generally speaking, if you're within 15 points, I would say go for it and run it. If you're within 20 points, depending on how potently offensive the other team is, then within 20 points, you could run it successfully and really not get yourself looked look down upon as a coach. So these are my thoughts. This is what a full court press is. I hope that this has explained uh, basically how to run it as well as what it really does and the, the use of it. Anyways, I'll see you guys again next time.